Alrighty, folks, welcome back. Looking at our storm tracker from this morning, kind of an overcast sky out there and uh, still seeing some clouds. But uh, this morning on College Street, which is where this was and all across town, really seeing some uh, heavier clouds this morning as opposed to what we're seeing right now. OK, so looking at satellite and radar, a couple things going on, some fire weather going on in the, out to the west and parts of New Mexico. Flood advisories taking place now across East Texas and parts of Louisiana. Here's our rain and storm maker that's coming our way. We might see some showers out of this as it swirls on by the east as we go into today, but still mostly staying dry. Latest data tries to produce maybe some rain showers for this afternoon. Not expecting much from that though to happen. Looking at satellite and zooming in here closely, you can see a, a little batch of heavier clouds now moving off towards the east of Highway 65. But right here, we're starting to see some clearing happening in the west. All right, and so and again, we've got some energy kind of coming up out of the south. May spark up some rain showers for us. For the afternoon, but again, not expecting too much for today. Flood alerts happening outside right now. We're still doing the flood warnings in play across parts of Vernon and St. Clair counties, also off to Bates County and off towards the west of there into parts of Kansas. Still dealing with some high waters here and there. Most of the water, though, has started to recede a little bit, but there are still some flooded areas here and there across the area. Right now, from the high V lakes of the Ozarks, uh, camera 70 degrees, east northeast winds at five miles an hour. Temperatures nice, they feel all right, low 70s outside. Winds generally on the, uh, the cooler side, calmer side from the south at 5 to maybe 10 miles an hour, depending on where you are, kind of variable here and there. So for this afternoon, this latest data tries to bring in maybe some uh, cluster of showers happening around Springfield. Uh, you, we may see a shower for later this afternoon in the evening, but I think we're still mostly going to be staying dry. But they, if, they, if that were to happen, that would be north of Highway 60. Going into this uh, tonight, mostly dry tonight, chance of rain showers off to the west. We get into tomorrow afternoon, a better chance of rain arrives. Some of it could be heavy, especially going into Thursday evening. Could see more of a training situation ahead of our next cold front coming through for Thursday into Friday morning. By Friday, though, it looks like that activity should wash away and we should be dealing with dry conditions there. Excessive rainfall outlook right now. It's a slight risk, which is 15%. We could see one to three inches. And that'd be a 15% flooding risk going into your Thursday, where again, some areas could see an additional one to three inches of rain on top of all the rain we had last weekend. The pattern going ahead is also looking kind of soggy out there. Again, Friday looks like we're mostly dry, but then we go into Saturday, Sunday, into Monday. A couple rounds of energy come on through as the jet stream dips down. We'll have a big old area of low pressure here swirling and spitting a couple pieces of energy our direction from the weekend into Monday. Upper 70s for us for today. Mid 60s overnight tonight. Again, mostly dry today. There could be a spotty shower today. Bigger rain chance, though, coming our way for tomorrow. Thursday will be kind of a soggy day, especially in the afternoon. Some of the storms tomorrow could be strong to possibly severe, marginally so. So 60 mile an hour winds, quarter sized hail possible at the best, off to the north and west. Uh, we get into Friday, mostly dry. The weekend rolls around. A chance of rain there for Saturday and for Sunday. Monday, some more scattered storms. And we're keeping an eye on Tuesday. Tuesday could line up to be a, a classic severe weather day set up for us. Let's we'll have to keep that in mind. But to the weekend, more rain, more soggy weather ahead. All right. Thanks.